What's going on guys, Team Mart here, and man oh man do I have some fantastic news for you guys today. If you guys don't know, there was a massive hotfix that went out on Black Ops 3 that changed a bunch of the weapons and almost all of the score streaks. And uh, most of the weapons received the buff, there were a couple of nerfs in there, but almost every single score streak in the game had a buff to it, which was drastically needed. So uh, overall, I'm super happy with what they changed. I wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can kind of know which guns might be slightly better, slightly worse, see which ones you might want to try out. And also let me know what you guys think about these changes down in the comments. So starting off with the weapons, it's SMG time, baby. So uh, the CUDA received a buff and it's recoil. It's recoil is going to be a little bit more manageable now. The VMP got a nerf in it's ADS time and it's hip fire spread. So it's going to aim down slight a little bit slower as well as it's not going to be quite as accurate when hip firing, which is pretty important. The Weevil received a buff. So, you know, praise Nate shot. He's coming back. He's going to be playing and competitive this year. Uh, it got a, a buff to its recoil. So the recoil is going to be a little bit uh, more manageable, not quite as much. The Vesper received a nerf in its range, which was very much needed. That gun was absolutely insane. The Razorback received a buff. It has a little bit less recoil and a slightly better range. I can't wait to try that one out. I'm going to try to see exactly what they changed. I might bring you guys a video tomorrow because that sounds very exciting. Moving on to the assault rifles. The KN44 got a buff in its recoil, so it's got slightly less recoil. The XR2 got a nerf in its movement speed, which is kind of weird to me so when you're using that gun you're gonna move around a little bit slower probably at like LMG speed or something I don't know that's that's odd the HVK 30 got a buff and it's recoil has less recoil the ICR got a pretty solid buff less recoil and a better hip fire spread which is uh, pretty good I can't wait to try that out as well uh, the man of war got a buff which I was kind of surprised by I feel like the man of war was already a super solid weapon but its recoil was reduced a little bit and then finally the M8A7 did receive a slight nerf in its fire rate, although I have kind of tested this out and it's really not that big of a deal, at least from what I've seen. Now, next up, talking about the shotguns, almost all of the shotguns got a buff. The KRM-262, the 205 Brecci, and the Haymaker-12 all got a range buff, so the shotguns might finally be pretty good again. They were like good at the start of the game and they were kind of nerfed and now they've been kind of buffed back up. So we'll see what happens. Uh, that Haymaker 12 used to be really good and uh, I'm kind of you know excited to try that thing out. Uh, next up for the LMGs, the Dingo got a buff with its movement speed and its recoil and the 48 Dredge got a nerf on its fire rate, which I think was kind of needed. The 48 Dredge was pretty good. And then finally, last but not least, on the secondary weapons, the RK-5 got a nerf on its range, and the LKAR-9 got a nerf on its range and damage, which uh, I like. I like having good secondaries, but I feel like they were a little bit too good for what they were. Like, it was almost like, you know, people could run a sniper and then run around with the LKAR-9 and essentially have an, an SMG, which I thought was just, you know, too crazy. So, uh, it's a good thing that both those were, uh, were nerfed. Now, moving on to the score streaks, like I said, pretty much every single score streak in the game got a buff, which is very exciting. I feel like the score streaks are pretty weak in this game, and I'm hoping that this is going to be enough of a difference to, uh, to you know, make them a little bit more lethal. So starting off here with the UAV and the counter UAV, both of them have increased health. It's still only going to take one rocket to take out, but it's going to take more shots with weapons to be able to take them out, which I think is needed. <coughs> cough, cough, the Draken. Uh, next up, the HCXD's damage was increased. The darts damage was increased for collision explosions, so not the things that you shoot, but when you actually run it into somebody, and its speed was slightly reduced, which... I don't know if that's good or bad. Like, maybe it makes it more easy to control. I'm not sure. The lightning strikes time in between when you select your targets and when the bombs are dropped. Uh, like, that was decreased, so it happens quicker now. It's a little bit more lightning-esque, which is good. It gives people less time to try to run inside. The hellstorm damage was increased when you use the, like, break it up option where it goes into a bunch of different, uh, you know, little bombs. The Rolling Thunder received a pretty massive buff. Its explosive radius and damage was increased. There are now four more drones that come down and the health per drone have been increased. So uh, that thing's probably going to be pretty good now. The Cerberus has increased missiles to destroy by one and increased EMP grenades to destroy by one. So that thing's got a little bit more health against those things. The Talon AI damage was increased. So when you get the Talon, you just have it following you around. It's going to be a little bit more lethal. The Wraith health was increased, which I think was vastly, vastly needed. Again, 
Cough, cough, Draken. So uh, that thing's going to be able to stay up in the sky a little bit longer. The Raps received a pretty big buff, so it's increased missiles to destroy the ship by one, increased health per drone, and explosive damage per drone has been increased. So they're going to be harder to take out, and they're going to be easier to kill you. So those things are going to be pretty solid now. The GI unit increased number of war machines to destroy was increased. So like it, it takes more war machine shots to kill it. Uh, it's got an increased duration, so it stays in the map longer, and decreased stun time by EMP grenades. So if people throw EMP grenades at it, it's not going to stay down as long. And then finally, last but not least, the Big Daddy, the Mothership, increased required missiles to destroy by two, turret damage was increased, and rocket projectile speed was increased. So it's got more health, it's going to take more rockets, and then when you're up in it, the turret's damage has more, and when you're shooting the rockets, those things reach the ground faster, so you don't have to lead enemies by as much. So, uh, you know, like I said, overall, I think that was a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic weapons balancing update. I, I think it's exactly what the game needed, both in terms of the weapons and in terms of the score streaks. The only question I have, all right, the only question I have is what about the hater, and what about the Draken? Those are the only two things that, like, I don't know why they didn't fix them. So the hater's health is just way too low. It's way too easy to destroy. And the Draken is just absolutely obscene. It's really good on the consoles, don't get me wrong. But on PC, if you guys have played PC, it's absolutely, like, mind-blowingly overpowered. Like, it's not even close. So I'm surprised those two things weren't changed. I feel like the hater was one of the things that most people were complaining about. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, just, I find that kind of interesting. But overall... In the grand scheme of things, I think this was a fantastic update. Great job, Treyarch. Let me know what you guys think. Leave comments down below. I will catch you guys later. More great videos coming soon. Check out these two videos if you haven't seen yet. Peace out, guys.